So what I have here is my marketing site. It's a, just a basic SharePoint site with a shared documents document library. You can see there's a bunch of different documents in it. And if I go to my storage point dashboard, it'll tell me what's there. I can see there's 81 blobs uh, and total of 294 megs or thereabouts. And these blobs are externalized to a file on my or a directory on my C drive. If we go there to my marketing folder, you can see there it is. Go to the properties and it's 287 megs. So what I want to show you is that in SQL I can go and that content is in or that site is based on this marketing database and it is a total of 28 megs. So it, obviously the blobs aren't in there and I can back that up and do my normal things. Uh, I've backed that up to my backup library here and there it is 24 megs. But that only gives me the content database with the blob references. But because uh, storage point is using the standard RBS protocols or standard RBS provider interfaces then any API you use within a SharePoint is going to pull those blobs through. So as an example of that, if I use the PowerShell command for export, meaning taking that and exporting it to a series of files with that content that I can then move and import into another farm uh, with or without storage point, you'll see that it'll create those files for me. And once done, the total number of files you'll see based on their size that it isn't just a database backup. Now that that's complete, if we go to that directory and go to export, and we'll see, there it is. If we go, we see 251 megs. There's probably some compression and all that kind of stuff in there. But the same is true if we did a backup. So if we do a backup SP site, So we'll let that run, and once it's done, we will switch over to our export directory, and we'll see that back file that is big enough to show that the, the blobs are in there. So what does this show us? It shows that Storage Point uses uh, the normal supported API so that it doesn't break anything in SharePoint. Backup restores that use the normal APIs, like I showed in those PowerShell commands, uh, those are going to pull those blob through and allow you to have a full fidelity backup if that's the way you want to do it. 